right, I'm recording this live, so I may stumble over my words here and there. Um, we're going to be looking at building skill in the range of your hamstrings so that you can touch your toes. So, firstly, I want you to start with your feet together. I want you to keep straight legs. And from here, just to start off this section, um, I want you to push your bum back, keep straight legs, come on down, let yourself round over, and see how far you can get. So I've got my hands flat on the floor here. Um, I'm already pretty warm. Um, you may find you can only get to there right now with straight legs. That's fine. That's exactly why we're doing this. Okay, but now we're going to go into a bunch of different exercises to help increase that range of motion. So, to begin with, take your feet about hip width apart. We're going to go for that roll down again. So I want you to roll down and then roll up. We're going to go one more time with feet hip width apart, keeping legs straight if you can. And roll up. Now I want you to take your feet super wide and give me the same thing. Roll down, nice and slowly, really push the bum back. Don't worry if you can't get near the floor. And roll up, one more time. Roll down. And roll up. Okay, come back, give me hip width apart. Take one foot slightly in front of the other. I want both heels to stay flat down. Give me a roll down. If you need to have a little soft bend in one of the knees here to make it feel a little more comfortable for you, feel free. But if you can, just give me that straight leg. Give me one more. And then switch the feet. Two in this position. We're just gonna do two in each. We're not spending overly long in any position because I want to really expose your nervous system to the most amount of variation. All right, we're doing two more. Feet hip width apart, toes turned out. Hinge over and up. One more time, nice and slowly. Don't want you getting dizzy. And coming up, one more variation, toes in, hitting different parts of your hamstrings here, just by changing where our feet are. Did that make sense? I don't know. Okay, a little bit different now. I want you to come back to feet right together. We're going to roll over. This time, feel free to bend your knees. You can bend them as much as you want. Um, so that you can find the floor. If finding the floor is very, very difficult, feel free to grab something like a yoga block that you can just lift yourself up a little bit. It's not completely necessary, you can always just hang, but if you've got something like a yoga block, it can be helpful. So, bent knees if you need to. You can do it with straight legs as well. From here, I'm going to lift up so that my chest parallel to the ground, and then I'm going to fold over and lower. Let's go again. Lifting up and lower. One more time coming up so I'm parallel chest to the ground and fold and relax. Right, let's take the feet out super wide. Give me the same thing. Do feel free to bend the knees if you need to. Coming up to parallel and fold. Up to parallel and fold, give me one more time, up to parallel, and fold, cool, bring the feet into hip width apart, we're going to take one foot forward, and I want you to slightly turn the toes of that foot that's in front inwards, so I've got a straight foot in the back, toes turned in here, coming up to halfway, and lowering down, and again, up to halfway, Lowering down, one more time, and we're going to switch the feet, so bring your foot that was forward underneath your hip bone, other foot in front, turn the toes in, let's go again, coming up to halfway, and all the way down, up to halfway, all the way down, one more time, up to halfway, 
all the way down. Right, next movement, bring the feet. That hip width apart again. We're going to look at straightening the legs. So again, I don't mind if you're not touching the floor, that's absolutely fine. I just want you to let yourself hang. Wherever you're at now, whether you're on the floor or you're up here, just let yourself hang and relax. I'm going to give you, imagining that you're in the middle of a clock, I'm going to give you a number and we're going to reach towards that number with your hands. So, in the middle of my number, I'm going to reach towards 12, try and drop down a bit lower and then come back to the middle and relax. So, reach towards 12 and then come back to the middle and relax, hang wherever you are. And towards 12, come back to the middle and relax. One more to 12, back to the middle and relax. We're going to go to nine o'clock. So you're going to turn, get as low as you can, back to the middle. Low as you can, back to the middle. One more time, low as you can, relax to the middle. Give me a three o'clock, three, middle. And again, one more time. Awesome, you're gonna give me a six. So both hands are gonna go back behind you, reach, and middle. You might find you really can't get low here. It might look a bit more like this. That's fine, just really reach for me. Keeping the legs straight, give me one more. Lovely, we're gonna take both hands towards 10. We're nearly there. 10, middle, now two, two, and middle to 10, middle, and two, middle. We are almost done. Roll up, give yourself a little bit of a, a little bit of a wiggle because this is hard stuff. Back of my knees are getting pretty fatigued here because they're not used to being completely locked out for so long. Uh, we've got two more variations to get through, then we're going to retest. So I want you to bring feet again just about hip width apart we're going to roll ourselves down keeping straight legs if we can but again if you still need to bend that's absolutely fine from here i want you to come up onto your toes and down so as i come up onto my toes i'm transferring weight into my hands once again this is something that can be made a little bit easier if i have something like a block or maybe even you take your hands onto a sofa or something like that. Let's go for it. So keep lifting and down, lifting and down. A few more. Really press the ground away with your hands. Give me two and one. Awesome, hold it there. I want you to bring your hands behind your calves or your thighs, whatever feels more comfortable to you, and we're going to gently pull in for three, two, one. Relax yourself down, just let yourself hang. Let's come again, pull for three, nose to knees, two, one, and relaxing down. Give me last time, coming behind, pull in for three, two, one. Relax yourself down, roll up. Oh, give yourself a little shake out. Finally, my legs feel like they are empty now. I want you to bring your feet right back together. We're gonna test and see how much you've improved over this little short section. So tucking chin in, rolling yourself down, see if you can keep straight legs, find the floor, see if you can get your nose as close to the knees as possible. Take a couple of deep breaths, don't worry if it doesn't look like mine, it's going to get better over time the more you practice. And then from there, rolling up. Done for the day.